Hey folks, good morning. It's about 7.20 a.m. And I'm just finishing up my little uh, morning walk here. Which I like to do it every year, every year, <laughs> every day. And that, now that I'm uh, a married man, it's nice to get up a little early and go for a walk. Just stretch the legs, get the blood flowing, really wake up and get away from the wife. No, totally kidding, but uh, not at all the reason why. Uh, there's some research behind uh, getting up and doing something physical right away that helps you wake up, which makes sense. And so far, it's working. So anyway, just thought I'd uh, come to you today and uh, give you a few thoughts. Right now, I'm thinking a lot about clay and I'm thinking a lot about the scope of uh, my work the last few years and how I'm, while well, really not doing a whole lot of wood carving the last two or three weeks. And uh, part of me gets a little worried. Part of me thinks, why are you doing that, Alec? Why won't you, uh, why don't you just stick to something? You know, first it's business school, then it's, then, you know, then it's uh, going to school to become a teacher. Um, all the while, you know, you should be carving in the studio. And now you're moving to clay, and one day you're just gonna realize that that niche of wood carving that you're in, that's where you should be. So these voices, the inner dialogue is happening. It feels like it's even happening while I'm sleeping. I like wake up and I think about clay and I think about why am I doing this? Who knows if people want this because everyone does clay. But uh, yeah, I'm not saying I've concluded anything yet or I've, had, I've gotten some revelation about it, but I'm just gonna let myself keep pursuing it. But uh, yeah, the problem is clay is so fragile. Clay is so fickle, you know? You know, you think maybe you let it dry for a day without a bag or without anything covering it, and that you might get some nice results. Um, if you wanted to add something additionally to that, or you might even think that you can fix a crack that appears because it's drying too quickly. Well, you're probably wrong. In fact, it's really hard to fix a crack on a uh, bone dry piece. The piece has been out for a couple of days you know, a week or so, because uh, it just doesn't like to uh, accept the new clay. So there's all these kind of downsides to it, and that's okay, right? Every medium has its downsides. With wood, you can't even remotely add, at the beginning even, with exception to just some uh, little pieces that you might um, use to fill cracks or whatever, <laughs> which I guess is actually a moot point, because that's all I'm trying to do in this scenario anyway. So, I digress, I'm used to wood, I'm not used to clay, and it seems as though every little tiny movement is amplified by 10 with clay, and uh, I struggle with that, I do. Look at this sunrise, oh my gosh, over the lake, probably waking people up as I walk by their houses, see, I'm right next to them, and uh, yeah, so, I don't really have any conclusions here. Just look at that, though. Just here to vent, to be honest. That's all. But uh, I do love clay. I love that you can work it so easily. And it seems like it's easier on the old, the old hands. And I've thought about it. And if I were to do something in retirement, you know, it might be clay. And so part of me actually was driven to the, to the idea of playing with clay because of that, because a friend said, hey, Alec, what would you do if you got bored of carving? And I wasn't bored of carving at that particular point. In fact, I was almost offended at the idea of it because I, I, I didn't feel anything like boredom with carving. I felt very excited about it. But I said, I'd probably, uh, I guess I'd probably work with clay then, yeah. And he said, oh, very good, clay. I said, yeah, clay. It seems like it'd be a better thing in retirement. Better on the hands, right? Like I said. So, look at this. So, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful, beautiful lake. But, um, I don't know what else to say about that. This is my morning walk up to the water. I was out here earlier and there were uh, a whole bunch of buffalo head. You know about buffalo head? Buffalohead are a tiny little bird with a black head, kind of a white stripe down their neck. I mean, they look like they're painted. 
they look like a fictional animal, but they're beautiful. And uh, they're pretty rare out here, I guess, but we've got lots of buffalo head. Or at least I think that's what they are. I'm no birdologist, but... Anyway, in conclusion, do what you love, as long as you can do it. And uh, try to break down what you're doing if you're self-employed, right? At least that's my thought, is break down what I'm doing into uh, things that you can monetize and then things that you just are passionate about. What you don't want to do is get in a rut where you cannot do anything that you're passionate about because you're so busy just doing the things that are lucrative for you, right? So for instance, Chris Stapleton, he wrote a book, wrote a book, he wrote songs for other people. And that's not his absolute favorite thing to do. He didn't love writing songs for other people. Um, he had a beautiful singing voice himself. And so he decided one day that he would pursue uh, his passion of singing in bluegrass bands, right? So he did that on the side. So that's how he expressed himself. He loved playing in bluegrass bands. He loved writing for himself, not giving away his songs. That manifested uh, in kind of a separate thing from his uh, main gig. All of it's surrounding music, which is a blessing, right? And for me to be able to do sculpture for a living, it's a blessing. So what if maybe I do uh, one thing or another for money and then, you know, another thing for uh, pleasure? I think that's important to do both. So, hey, I guess there is a point to this video after all. How about that? Anyway, guys, enjoy your mornings or evenings or whatever you're watching this. I hope that you're having a nice hot cup of coffee or tea while you're listening to this and that you uh, enjoy your... Uh, What's left of your day? Much love, guys. Bye.